Hello, my friends. What do we do now? Okay, she doesn't have anything different to say. Okay. All right, short man. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. I mean, she didn't die, so... You know, it's really kind of awkward, even though she addressed herself as this, to just call her the word. Either call her Heidelin or call her Minfilia. It, they're, I mean, I know they're both one and the same now, but... Oh! Well, would you like to come with me? Maybe some fresh air will help. No? Okay. Alright. Just either call her Minfilia or Heidelin. That, like... We don't need to give her a new name. It kind of... At least in my opinion, just kind of demeans the sacrifice Minfilia made. Even though, I guess she really didn't have... That much of a choice. I mean, Heidelin told her to get sucked up, she got sucked up. Well, what the hell was she supposed to do? So, y'all know what needs to happen right now. I don't think she's here. I think she's back at the Rising Stones, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, she is. Hi, we've been summoned. Left instructed. Dude, I'm the warrior of light. I'm like the savior of Ishgar now. At least I should be. I should be able to walk into this damn office as much as I want. Where's Lucia? I mean, not that I like her standing in your office when she doesn't do anything, but... A pleasure to see but... you again, my friend. I take it you received our invitation. No, I decided to waltz in your office uninvited. Good, good. Yes, I did. You of all people should be present. Yeah, explain, please. Ceremony? What for? When the true brothers of the faith seized control of the vault, I feared the worst. Yet in adversity were we blessed with the promise of peace between man and dragon through Vidofnir's timely rescue of an innocent child. Timely, I say, though miraculous or providential might better describe the event. The gods themselves could not have devised a more fitting symbol of hope. Needless to say, we could scarce let such an opportunity pass us by. Which is why I set about making formal arrangements for a peace conference between our peoples. Why didn't you do this the first time? You still really haven't elaborated why you decided to invite Vidofnir to the city in the first place. Like, if it was just a, hey, you're cool now, if you'd like to come by, you may come by any time, they should have made that clear. But his intention, originally, was pretty much comported to be something like this, that he wanted her in the city for a very specific purpose. And now we're finally actually making that happen. You and yours have done more to bring us together than any, and it is only right that you attend. But I confess, that is not the only reason I would be glad to have you there. Given Nidhogg's implacable opposition to the peace, it is possible that he and his followers may attempt to disrupt proceedings. In which event, your presence would be a comfort to all in attendance. Pray understand, I have no wish to invite the Worm's Ire. But if our fractured nation is to heal, if we are to move forward as a people united, then we must do whatever is necessary to bring about lasting change. Dude, sit down! It's fine! You're not being rude by doing so! <sighs> Tis nothing. Tis nothing. Lucia cautioned me against giving vent to my passions, lest my wounds reopen. Uh, I think she should pull rank and make that in order. I mean, you got the shit beat out of you and then you got stabbed. Take a couple days off. It has not been easy reaching out to our opponents in Ishgard, many of whom sympathized with the actions of the true brothers. But in so doing, we have limited the influence of the zealots. The people are ready, my friend. This conference must go ahead. Uh, also, um, who is who is formally inviting Vidofnir? Do I have to do that? Is is Lucy in the progress of doing that? I knew you would understand. 
The conference will take place on the border of Ishgardian and Dravanian territory in Falcon's Nest. Lucia is there seeing to the final preparations, even as we speak. Pray join her at your earliest convenience. It would not do for the guest of honor to arrive late, after all. So, did you already invite Ridofnir? Oh, and uh, one more thing. What? A drink. We should make time for one. Once the conference is concluded, I mean. By my reckoning, it is long overdue. Uh, why can't we have one now? The bar is literally right next door. We can just go and just have a cold one. I mean, I could probably use a drink right about now. Come on, let's all drown our sorrows and forget about all this horrible shit we've been through. My cat has escaped her prison that was the bedroom and is now literally underneath my chin. Felines, guys, I swear. No, she's literally like two inches away from the microphone right about now. And crawling across my arms so I can't even move her. This is gonna be a fantastic episode. Hi, Lucia, what's going on? So, what exactly do you need me to do? I mean, besides stand here and look pretty and be like a symbol of hope and in case shit goes wrong. Would you like me to be a guest of honor? I, I think you still owe me a medal for all this shit I've helped you with. Okay. See, see, perfect time for us to go get a drink with Sir Emmerich. Perfect time. It would also be the perfect time for my kitty to stop crawling all over me, Riddell. Thank you. Yeah, totally being not professional with the cat crawling over me, but honestly, I really don't care. Uh, kitty introductions are pretty awesome actually some people are like oh they're talking about a kitty oh cool all right we will do that let's talk to people maybe rally them up get them all excited uh, should we not call Elfano and let him know what is going on? I mean, I might want to call people, let them know I'm here and I'm currently on a mission right now. Sorry, I can't, um, well, I can't really console people because we're keeping what been happening with Philly really, uh, kind of a secret right now. But, uh, I can't, maybe it'd be a good idea to, for me to be informed of whatever bullshit lie we're going to tell everybody about what happened. Aww. That's nice of you to say. Oh, yeah, they, they haven't really elaborated on that, of, of what be actually became of the heretics after that little incident with the riots in the city right after we returned from the airy is on there well not that we actually spoke to her since but what did she tell them like hey the, the war is over you know these people are cool now did she mention us specifically that we could be trusted or anything like that is the time for what well, you seem rather glum and depressed right now. You are always willing to try to ask me out and get catch up on gossip with me. What's wrong, man? Hey. 
Has it not been made a fucking executive order about a dragon of her description is not to be touched or harmed? What the hell, Lucia? What the hell, Sir Emmerich? I know you're only temporarily in charge of the city, but make this an order. I mean, y there's chance still you still might have some nut job who, who wants to uh, claim glory for themselves and not want to listen. Yeah, but... At least you should be making an attempt to quell that from happening. Goddamn babysitter! Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Um, he has a manservant that can do that. I mean, I know he's not really capable of tackling him and chaining him if he gets out of line, but still, kind of, I don't know. I I don't know. <sighs> what am I gonna do with these people, guys? On the Warrior of Light, I should not be relegated to adult babysitting duty. I mean, I suppose I owe, kind of half owe it to the house for taking me in, but I think I've more than paid for my keep. Um, yes, I'm glad you have working eyesight. Um, um, are you being genuine, or, or are you just trying to get me an excuse to leave you the fuck alone? I don't know. But at the very least, he's keeping his word to not leave Falcon's Nest, so there is that, I suppose. You know what? Where is my help bar for that? There we go. Let us summon our trusty sidekick. Because why not? He needs a little bit of exercise anyway. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. There are ghosts hanging around here. Though I'm not quite sure if, uh... There would be people walking along these paths, but I guess they're, they're close enough to uh, Falcon's Nest that uh, they might try to come in and pick off some poor child dragging, kicking, and screaming into the wilderness to feed their families. I know that's a really morbid and disgusting thing for me to say right now, but... Uh, hi guys! Uh, okay, I slayed your wolves. I'm glad you stayed out of trouble. Okay, good to see things didn't fall apart while I'm gone. Good. Good. Oh! Tankard's here?
Yep, okay. I guess that works. Be like, hey, you're pretty damn good with those weapons. Yeah, whoops, I forgot about this. Let's, uh, how about you go over and kill stuff? I mean, credit where credit is due. I mean, at least he's not sending some poor, defenseless, crappy new recruit soldier out into the wilderness to go and kill shit. He's like, yeah, you're pretty badass. How about you go? Well, of course there's gonna be wolves over here. I mean, this is kind of where they have lived. Uh, alright, 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 alright. I made friends with your boss. I'm pretty sure you're not my enemy now. I mean, the last time I tried to make friends with you guys, you were the ones to swing your swords at me, even though we're like, no, no, we come in peace, and you're like, fuck you! So, no, as long as you're not trying to kill me, we're cool. We've been cool for quite a while. Or at the very least, neutral. Well, he did have orders to not leave Falcon's Nest! I mean, yeah, they do say a sucker is born every minute, but we have no obligation to actually follow what he said. We could have been like, fuck no. But we're a bunch of gullible wimps, so of course we went, without question. So who's more at fault of that, huh, Fangrid? Yeah, I, I, I think we, we would definitely share the burden of a little bit of that blame. Maybe? Maybe. Is that the spiked butt guy? I don't know. Or is that the guy who was worried about his yetis eating another chocobo? I don't know. I didn't catch that dialogue box. Dude, it's okay. We got everything. Your pug, maybe? Oh, at least I gotta thank you. Uh, I'll take one of those. Why not? You know, my cinnamon roll. Maybe stop being a little that much of a doormat. A little less of a doormat, please. English is hard. Oh my god, somebody is feeding us? Oh, you totally just became my hero, Em. Nobody is feeding us. Thank you. You are the best. Here, I have some cookies in my back pocket. I mean, I mean, they, they're not really as warm and, and gooey anymore, but I'm sure they're still good. Would you like one? Is that guy passed out or is he sleeping? Welcome, welcome. Find yourself an empty seat and I'll be with you in a moment. Can I have a menu, please? I'll have one of everything. Cold out, isn't it? Here, a mug on the house. Let's get some color back in them cheeks. Um, yeah, I think there's a little too much steam on there, fogging up my glasses, and I had to take them off. Freed food will be a bit longer than usual. We've got a lot of hungry folk to feed, what with the conference and all. But I didn't order yet. Oh, so many people with cause to celebrate. To think there could be peace in our time. After all them years of fighting. You're welcome. When I heard about the conference, I knew I had to come. I knew I had to be here. To do my best. My husband, he... He died fighting the dragons, you see. And here we are. About to break bread with him. Uh, did you miss the news? Giant white dragon flew in. 
Uh, save the child from her death at the hands of a priest? Surely it's worth celebrating over. You were right, right mother. mother. You look tired. Reckon, Reckon you could, could do with a good long rest? rest. After all you've, you've done, done, I say you're dead. dead. Oh, you are gonna die, bitch! This was never your fight. Fuck you, I'm the warrior of light! You know, it's bitches like you that give me cause to believe I should have never tried to stop Nidhogg's second assault upon the city. Maybe I should have let him raise you all to My the son. ground. They... They told me he walks in Halone's halls. They told me the same. I expect they think it's comforting. Every time I come, I cry. I cannot bear to remember, but to forget would be a thousand times worse. Yet that is what they would have us do. Accept this truth for the sake of peace. Bury the past and look to the future. But he was my future, my flesh and blood, my heart. Yeah, here's a thought. Maybe leave this guard? Seek refuge in Eorzea? I mean, they were full of a shitload of them after the calamity. Is this it? We're the only ones with a courage to oppose this madness. Cowards, a lot of them. What madness? They think only of the prize, of the peace Sir Emmerich promises them. They know in their hearts it's a lie, but they go along with it anyway, desperate fools. But not I. Not I! I see the worm that killed my brother in my dreams every night, and I will not rest until he lies broken at my feet. Him and every last one of his accursed kin. Oh, gee, it's not like I questioned to solve this fucking problem for you guys. And still am, by the way. Shut up. All this nonsense about kings of eld, as if I care what they did or didn't do, makes no difference to me and mine. Have the dragons sued for peace in a thousand years? Are they bollocks? Um, there, there is one now. Okay? It's a bloody ruse is what it is. And Sir Emmerich and the rest of them bloody fallen for it. Hi, big white dragon flew into city, saved child that a priest of your church and your religion threw off a roof in cold blood. What the fuck is wrong with all of you? Yeah, I get that you're angry and I get that you're, you know, th this is a hard change to accept and all that, but I, I, I can't help but reiterate this point. But what can we do? They believe, and not we can say will ever change their minds. Oh, you mean like just what they're saying is not doing anything to change your minds? Whether we like it or not, man and dragon will come together at Falcon's Nest, and all will be forgiven. Forgiven and forgotten. Would you rather your, your sons and your husbands and your children's children continue to pe perpetuate this war for another thousand years and continuing to die for this cause? No. I will not let that happen. Oh. They will remember the true face of the enemy. I will show it to them. 
And we will rise up against them once more. Uh, guys, guys, in a thousand years, you have not killed off the Horde. Okay? You've been fighting a losing battle. You've held your own very quite well, very quite well, but you are fighting a losing battle. If you have not killed them and rid yourself of the Horde in a thousand fucking years, you're not ever going to. You guys are delusional. Legitimately angry. Legitimately upset. I get that. I get that. Hey! Hey! This is no time for napping. Thancred, hold on. Hold on. I'm talking here, Thancred. I, I, I get that, that they're a little upset and they are right to be skeptical about, you know, the whole peace conference and, you know, everything's going to be all hunky-dory. They have every right to be skeptical about that. But, but, what they're suggesting is no better. No better at all. Let's just keep the status quo that we've had for a thousand years and continue to let a bunch of people die and fighting a losing battle. That does not sound any better or any more noble of a cause to me. At all. Do you have your wits about you? Good. Come with me. We have a crisis on our hands. Well, apparently I screwed the pooch on this because this is my sole job. Well, I mean, granted, I me mean, passing out was not my fault, but... Hear me, brothers and sisters! Oh, do not be fooled by the honeyed words of the Dravarnians. The peace they promise is but a prelude to slaughter. Um, they haven't promised anything yet. It's, it's Sir Emmerich that is trying to forge this peace. The Dravarnians haven't said shit, even the good ones. Get your facts right, lady. Remember your husbands and wives never returned from war. Your children torn apart by fang and claw. All your loved ones show no mercy. Yes, so let's continue to send them to war to die. Great fucking idea. Does not your heart cry out for vengeance? Your blood boil at the injustice. Remember the face of your enemy, brothers and sisters! Remember it! And strike back! And get killed in the process. You there! Don't just stand around gawping! Do something, man! Stop her! Do something! Yes! yes Do oh something! Lord. Uh, I think that should have been more of a warning shot. See? See here the true nature of the Highborn. With lies and deception they lead us to our doom. And dare we raise our voices in dissent? Death is our reward. Uh, you're still talking. You got shot in the arm. You are still talking and walking. You are fine. This is the choice they have given us, brothers and sisters. Death by dragon's fang, or death by nobleman's command. Death to all we hold dear. Um, I will glad you get you a medic. Just stop your fucking screeching. I had an order to maintain order here, okay? I'm actually failing at that job right now, but no, 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 no. This is not your place to protest, bitch. I spit on your choices, nobleman! You will take no more from me! No more! No more! Um, um, I kind of actually saw, you know, some bodies lying around before I, I, I heard your, 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 your continuous harping. So, yeah, you incited this riot, might I ask, and injured a few other people in the process? Okay, that one was uncalled for. Way to prove our point, you idiot. He didn't tell you to kill her, what the fuck? What have you done? Yeah, I'm with him! Uh, I only did as you ordered, my lord. Uh, no, he said do something. He didn't say specifically kill her. Great, great. Great job fixing it. 
Yeah, see this poor bastard lying on the floor here? Yeah. I gave no such order. I, I did not. I... I never meant for anyone to... Oh, shit. Now, no, no, you all were here and you were all in earshot. Did he give a command to kill her? No, he did not. Put away the, the, the torches and the pitchforks. Okay, we'll get a medic. I happen to be one. We'll take care of this. Ugh. Yeah, that was kind of my job, thank right? Sorry about that. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's hurry this crap up. Yeah, I'm with you. I am totally with you, man. What in the world were they thinking? This is not the way to go about this. Yes, let's, let's decide a riot. See, I'm with you. I'm with you, okay? I get that Nidhug has his body back again, and it's only a matter of time before the Dronians come back, but fighting amongst ourselves isn't going to solve that problem. It makes us sitting ducks. Well, gee, it's not like you did anything of use there. And, you know, oh, maybe I could have helped quell that situation had I not been, you know, trying to recover from being fucking poisoned or otherwise incapacitated. Thanks for that. Well, it only happened five minutes ago. This takes time to sink in. Ca casualties? Okay, there were, there's actually a body count now. Okay, even more cause to say fuck those people. He did not order a public execution! That's not what happened! Were any of you paying attention? Holy shit! Oh my god. Okay. Alright. We need to stop here because I'm just getting angry and angry and angrier by the moment. So I'm just going to take this time to thank you for watching my friends and oh, we'll get into what happened there a bit later. Oh man, do I have plenty more to say about this. But we'll have to wait. I will see you then.